said, now that we've seen teams now adjust for Steph Curry post his like three point level of dominance. Since the man has transformed the NBA. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let's do, be clear. This is a question. Do yeah. you think that Steph Curry ruined basketball? No, ruined no. He helped it. But okay. even but even he has become even Steve Kerr said, Yo, this is his best season. He's as better as he's he's as good as he's ever been. I fully agree. I think that this year was the best year of his career. Why? Because I feel like his basketball IQ has improved. Just because you can shoot from thirty five feet and you might make it, you can make the game easier. You can get you can like you don't have to work that hard. Who wants to work that hard? I don't think he's working that hard though. He was shooting above forty percent from yeah, three point line being on thirty five feet. I agree, feet. but it's an easier way to do it. You can make the game easier. No, but, it's not. Can, I, for instance, for instance, look. I even say the Kevin Love play at the end of um game seven was the most overrated but he defensive was also stop. Hurt. But he still could have blew by the man. He was coming off of, of a he bad. He still could have got by the man. I mean, it's he just, had six weeks this time. He still could have got by the man. He had six weeks this time. He it had was two weeks. Bro, time. it was just so obvious that that was what he was gonna do. But you're not. But, you, but look, but still, he just, had six weeks this time. I, I well, hear five you. Weeks. He had I hear you. That time. But it like, wasn't like the man never laid the ball up before that time in that whole final series. Right. He, didn't, he he didn't went past people and laid the yeah, ball. Yeah, everybody just was gassed. Four, three. Everybody was gassed. Nobody had scored a, a, a pass. This, what the four yeah, thirty three yeah. mark? Like, Eighty nine, eighty nine. Exactly. For like exactly. Two years. So no, they were all gassed, including LeBron. Which is why when they won, he was so out of breath and he looked like he just ran a marathon. Cause they did. They yeah. literally ran a marathon. Yeah. So like but, I mean, hey, but, but regardless, yeah, that's just my most. So shout out Steph, I fully respect it, great point guard, but I do not enjoy it. <laughs> so so Steph play? so to answer that question also, and to and to kind of flip what you're saying, I think it's just high risk, high reward. Like that's just what it is. I mean, of course, the move is to blow by the big man when you're you know behind the three point line and guy like the icy. That's fundamental. It's just when you when you. The reward is so high. I mean, it's like an intangible effect this man has on the NBA. When he, like, go to game two and it meant nothing, right? When they're up 13, then Steph explodes. And they end up winning by 41. But when we look back on Steph Curry's effect on the NBA, like, we're going to look at that, you know, three-minute stretch that he had in the third quarter and then the three-minute stretch in the fourth where he was just a volcano. And, and And, like, that's... I just can't hate it. It's, it's I the, can't. It, it, to me, that's the highest form of basketball we've seen yet. Is having a team that can like ebb and flow like that, and 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 it's like you had Shaq before. Get it to Shaq, make it easy for Shaq. Now it's like the three point line is such like a beautiful reward, you know. And, and so when Steph gets hot, it's like watching. You know, it's just annoying. Just like watching, even it's not annoying because I like watching Lamelo shoot crazy shots. Even like, when, I enjoy it because when it goes in, it's like holy. And bro. that's the risk too yeah. of being so successful. Other yeah. people want to stop line and be like Mike because he's not in the league. They want to be like Steph. They're pulling up from half court, literally. Oh, like no, like, that's not. I, I don't. That's like, a big no. risk. Yeah, I yeah. feel it, but no. Like even Katie said, he hits a lot of bad shots. He does. He has a lot of horrible well, guys on shots. Well, guess what? In game, in game what? Five? Well, it was game five, right? Game five. Guess who wasn't hitting a lot of tough shots? Oh, Kevin Durant. 